All right, hello everybody. My name is Robert and this is a review clue. Today is a super duper exciting day. Today is the 10th of November, which means it is officially Xbox Series X and Series S day. Um, I managed to pre-order this thing. It was a right chore to do so, but I managed to get one and I'm so happy that I did. So today what we're going to do is we're going to have a look inside this box, look at what we get and look at that setup process as well because it's rather unique for this generation of console and um, there's the smart app that does most of the setting up for you so I'm super excited to see that. Of course I'm also going to do some close-ups of this and if you're really excited to see more content on the Series X, the PS5 and more then get down there Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification icon, and you will be notified every time I upload. Anyway, let's take a look around the box first. So I'm just going to move that front and centre there. And we see along the front, we've got the actual console itself with that concave top and that lovely little green plastic, which makes it look like a light, but it, it's actually not. So on one side, we've got all of the information there. We've obviously got that 4K, 120 frames per second. We've obviously got the re refresh rate as well and everything like that. Along the back, we have Halo, which is a uh, distinctly lacking feature of this console, actually. We, we don't have Halo right now, um, which is, I think, ironic in itself. And on this side, we just have a picture of the console. So let's go ahead and peel off some of these stickers. There's stickers all over this thing to stop tampering. Okay, we've got one. There's another one here. So this thing is £449. Uh, I actually don't have, I think I've got one game which is Series X optimised right now, uh, but I do also have Game Pass. So, you know, Game Pass is the way forward when it comes to Xbox. Nearly there, one more sticker to go. Okay, that's all the stickers off. So let's go ahead, drop this down. And, uh, where shall I do it, about, about there? Yeah, that looks good. Oh, there we go. So, oh, I'm gonna have to stand up for this bit. <laughs> so we see straight away the, uh, the console there. Uh, I'm gonna lift this up a little bit so you can see it that power your dreams and the console. I'm just going to lift this off to the side now so I can sit back down because you probably didn't hear much of that because of my audio. So there's the console itself. Oh, flipping neck. Go drop that off to the side. It's a, it's a hefty boy. And let's have a look at what else we get in the box because there's other stuff in here as well, of course. Um, we get that quick start guide, which is going to tell you how to get set up. It is instructing you that you might want to download the app. Uh, the app will allow you to set up the console a lot quicker. So let's drop that off to the side. And in the back here, behind the console itself, was another little box. So let's take a look at what's in this box here. Uh, we'll start off with the boring stuff. We have the normal power lead. This, I think, is the same one from the Xbox One X and One S. So you can just use that. It's just the standard power lead. Uh, this, however, you will want to change. This is your HDMI cable, but this is a very special HDMI cable. This one has HDMI 2.1 capabilities, allowing you to have 4K 120Hz. In order to actually get that 4K 120, you're going to have to use a 2.1 cable and a TV that supports HDMI 2.1. I've got an LG B9 behind me, and that does support it. I think all B9 and C9s do. So there you go, that's important there. But of course you can use your old cable, but you won't get the full benefits of this console if you decide to go down that route. We have the product and regulatory information and what appears to be the controller. Uh, let's, get the con let's pop this back in the box and out of the way there because it's a little bit in the way. Let's take a look at this controller first. So there are some distinct differences between this controller and the last series controller. Uh, we obviously get some batteries as well, that's always nice to see. But there is the controller guys, uh, I'll get a close-up of it as well in a bit. 
but they, there are some distinct differences which I will go over in a separate video. I want to take a separate video looking at this controller over the previous one. But straight away, I'm liking this design. It is ever so slightly smaller, but I'm just going to drop that off to the side because I can hardly contain my excitement of having this thing next to me, the actual Xbox. So we've got the Power Your Dreams sleeve there. Which way is the bottom? That's the bottom. So there we go. I'm just going to slide off that sleeve and place it, pop it in the box there. I want to try and keep this as pristine as possible because um, this is actually the first ever re launch console that I've ever had. So let's just peel off the tape there. Uh, there's some tape along the side here. And there's some along the bottom as well, which I'm going to have to turn it onto its side for like that. And take out the tape along the bottom. It's like I'm wrapping a Christmas present to myself. It's, it's nice. This is a nice unboxing experience. So peel, peel, and there it is. Oh. Right, let's get some, let's get that out of the way and take a look at the console. Oh, this is nice. I mean, it it's actually not as big as everyone was saying it would be. Um, I was expecting it to be a lot bigger. So we can of course see along the front here. We've got the power button at the top there. You got your sync button. Oh, your sync button. That's your eject button for your um, CD slot. And somewhere there is your sync button. That's all that we get on the front. I'm loving this industrial design. There are two ways that you can stand it. You can either stand it upright like this, or you can sit it down on its side. Um, I think they clearly wanted it to be like that um, with the Xbox button in its orientation and that foot that is not removable, unfortunately. Uh, as we go ahead and look round at the back of the console as well, we're going to see all of those ports. I'm going to have a close-up of these ports um, so we can have a proper look at them together. So we, of course, got that storage expansion slot. That is for your um, Seagate cards, the special cards that only work with the Series X and Series S. I think they're like £220 for a terabyte. Very, very expensive. We've obviously got the HDMI out, which, I, as I mentioned, is HDMI 2.1 compatible. We've got the power port there. We've got Ethernet and two super fast USB 3s. And actually, while I've got it like this, let's take a look at that top there. I just think that's such a cool design. It's not actually uh, a light. It may seem like it is, but it is just plastic that's um, done in a, in a way to make it look like you've got that light there. But that's pretty much it. Um, you don't get a ton in the box. You get the controller, some leads, and of course, the controller. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go and take this over to my TV, get it set up, and we'll watch through that setup process and just have a look at what we can do with it. I've got one game which is definitely Series X optimized, which we're gonna have a look at, and that's gonna be Watch Dogs Legion, and I'm so excited to get that started. So let's go ahead and head over there now and get this thing set up. Okay, so here we are in my living room space. Uh, I wasn't really sure where to put the Series X uh, right now, so what I've done is I've put it off slightly to the side of my TV. It's only going to obscure a tiny bit of it, but we're going to be able to see this whole setup process. So I suppose the first thing I'm going to have to do here is um, actually turn on the console. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm not sure if you heard that there, but that is the exact same sound that was on the... Um, X, uh, the One X and the One S, and the One, in fact. Uh, it's a bit of a shame. I kind of hoped that they'd have new um, sounds. Uh, what are we going to get here? That is a uh, HDMI 3. That's for the actual One. There we go. <laughs> HDMI 1. We miss that lovely new intro, but um, you're going to hear a lot more of it. I, I'll power it down and start it back up again. Here we are. So... Set up with the app. Yes, uh, I need to undo this. So actually what I'm going to go and do is run off, grab my phone, come back, and we'll do the mobile setup, and I'll show you just how easy that is. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, let me just set up the screen recording on my phone, and we can take a look at the app itself. So let's go ahead and go to Xbox here. Um, we do have to set up that new console, so... I don't actually know how we do that. 
settings, linked accounts, let's press that Xbox button, ah, set up a console, there we go. So you're gonna to go to the um, icon in the top there, set up a console, we're gonna set up a new console and we can see that code on the screen there. So it's C J H W V I M K B I. Connect to console. Connect to your console. Yep. So this is going to use Bluetooth to connect to our console. And hopefully complete most of the setup for us. Uh, that's done. Wow, that was really quick. So it's asking us what country we're in, which is of course United Kingdom. We're gonna to have to put in our Wi-Fi password. It's a shame it doesn't recognize that from the uh, phone. So it's gonna do that now. Hit join. Joining your console to Wi-Fi. I actually haven't even connected up the controller yet. I should probably do that in a minute. Let's update. Yeah, our console needs to update, which is fine. So we now get to choose our power mode. These are very similar to those that we saw on the um, other series of Xboxes, the Xbox One X, One S and One. I'm going to put it on the instant on setting. Well, I don't really mind too much. I'm the only person who uses this, so I'm going to enable instant sign-in. Uh, that's fine. Turn on remote features. Yes, I want to be able to use this remotely. Now, let's get you signed in with your Xbox profile. So, I've already signed into the mobile app, so it already knows who I am. Um, I don't really care about them sending me sending data, so... Uh, let's give this a name of Living Room Xbox. It gives me the suggestion there. That's, uh, can I just tap it and then next? Yep. Want to keep in touch? I mean, not particularly, no. All done. So th that's literally it. That is the simplest setup process I think I've ever been through for a console. It's really nice to see that it's coming through that mobile app rather than through having to sit here with the console. But let's go ahead and uh, sync up this controller, wait for the update to complete, and then we'll come back and look around the UI really quickly. Okay, that was quite impressive. Um, <laughs> I just went over to hit the sync button on the controller, but I've literally just turned on the controller and it had automatically synced with the console. It must have already been paired with it. Um, that's just a really nice touch to see that I don't have to go through the pairing process on this controller. But let's stop for the moment and once this update is complete, which it's doing very, very quickly, um, we'll come back to the UI. So there's that update done. That took maybe five minutes or so. It was very, very quick for an initial update. Welcome back. Uh, so we're going to hit the A button. Oh, it's time to update the controller as well. <laughs> so we're going to update the controller. This is going to take some time. Uh, hopefully it won't take too long. I mean, it's going fairly quickly. Uh, we're, of course, obscuring some of the screen with the um, Xbox there. But until I've decided actually where I'm going to put it, that's where it's going to go. Um, I think probably hiding this one behind the TV. I've got the PS5 coming as well. I'm going to remove some shelving from where the PS4 and One X is and place the PS5 there, but we'll think about it later. So the update process for the controller uh, ironically took, I think, longer than the console. Uh, we're just going to use the normal settings. I mean, I think I've set it all up on the mobile. Find the best settings for your TV. Yeah, so this is where we're going to look at um, putting it into that 4K, 120 hertz. Keep these settings. Uh, keep display at 4K, yep. Yeah, so. Of course, we want to keep it at 4K. Take me home. And here we are on the home page. It is a exact copy of that uh, of the of the Xbox One dashboard. So if you're used to that, you're going to know what's happening here. But what we're going to do is jump into the settings real quick, 
and make sure that we're running everything that we should be um, from 120 hertz and such. So TV, yeah, there we go, 120. Give it a second. Oh, keep this refresh rate, yes. Boom, 120 hertz, 4K HD. So we can calibrate HDR as well. These are the important settings that you're gonna to wanna to play with before we get before you start playing all of these games. But we are now seeing a black screen, which doesn't bode well. Can we go back as the TV turns itself off, potentially? I don't know whether it's doing something in the background. So this is uh, slightly worrying. I went into the HDR settings, uh, which I know my TV supports, and I'm now seeing a black screen. Um, okay. We, we're not gonna touch <laughs> Calibrate HDR for games. We are more than happy with Dolby Vision, HDR 10, 4K. I think this is everything. Oh. CEC, yep. So we want to be able to turn our console on from other devices, turn it off from other devices. Other devices can turn the control of our console on and off. That instant game response keeps starting and stopping. So we're going to restart the console and hope that uh, fixes some of the problems. We're also going to hear that lovely new launch sound as well. was truly beautiful <laughs> um that's the new intro there and we're just dropped straight back into the normal ui that we're used to so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop this video here for now this has been my unboxing setup and first look at the xbox series x over the coming days i'm going to be starting to look, take deep dives into things like the controller how fast games load and some tips and tricks as well. So if you're interested in that, get subscribed, hit that bell notification icon, and I will catch you in the next one. Adios.